So this is an ideal stretch for first thing in the morning to get the blood flowing, start to warm up the muscles and joints. You can absolutely start this from your bed or find a space on the floor. So lying down, we're just going to take a moment now to connect with your breath. If you can, breathe in and out through your nose. If it's more comfortable for your lower back, just draw those feet up flat on the floor and perhaps pop one hand on your belly and one on your chest. We should be breathing into the belly, chest rising least and last. Okay, so I'm going to just draw those knees up one at a time. Hug them into the body a little bit and maybe get a bit of flexion through those ankles. Waking up uh, the joints here. If it feels nice for your body, perhaps take a little rock from side to side. Okay, so I'm going to pop those feet down to the floor now, about hip distance apart, and just allow both knees to fall to one side. Perhaps stretch your arms out just to stabilise the upper body, keeping both shoulders grounded to the floor. Sinking into a few breaths here before we take it over to the other side. Okay, so we're going to lengthen one leg away, drawing the other knee up and holding it with the opposite hand, just draw it across the body gently. Once again, we're staying grounded through those shoulders. You can add the weight of your hand to the outer thigh just to deepen the stretch through the glutes here or just keep both arms out to the side. Just breathing into this stretch. This is a great one if you suffer from sciatica. Okay, so rolling back to center, I'm gonna just grab the back of that leg and lengthen towards the ceiling. Just getting a little flexion again through that ankle, pointing the toes, getting a bit of a stretch through the back of that calf before we pop it down and do all the same on the other side. So whichever leg you're doing, that same arm will be stretched out to the side, using the opposite hand to draw the leg across the body. You can leave the weight of that hand there if you wish, or pop the other arm out to the side as well. Once more, just breathing into this stretch for a few moments. Allow the body to rock gently back to centre and move through that extension of the other leg now. Flexing the foot a little bit, drawing up your other knee if you need to. And then just once more moving into that lovely flexion, which is pulling both knees into the body, maybe parting them and having a little rock from side to side, massaging that lower spine. Now we're gonna be coming into a seated position. So you can either gently make your way there however you like, or take two or three pixie rolls, just once more massaging that lower spine, opening through the vertebrae and coming to that seated position. Now, if you're on a mat, we're going to pop the feet just about at the edge of the mat. Otherwise, we're taking them wider than hip distance apart. Just rounding through the back, dropping the chin, allowing the head to hang a little bit. If you want to increase this stretch, we're going to take the hands inside the knees and wrap them around the outside of each foot. This allows you to sink a little bit deeper, really opening through the vertebrae. 
After a few breaths, just bringing those knees down to the mat, sitting up nice and tall on the sit bones. We're gonna take a few inhales. Inhale, bring the arms up, exhale, folding forward, and then just drawing back up to seated. Taking just a few repetitions here. Always just moving with the breath. Perhaps on the next one, reaching for those toes, just bringing them towards your head a little bit. Remembering, just stay wherever feels good for you. That could be up on the shins, the ankles, or all the way down to the toes. Okay, as we come up, we're going to draw up. Let's go with the right foot, tucking it into the left thigh. Our left arm reaching down towards the ankle, taking the right arm back and forward. Again, moving with the breath, inhaling as you reach back, exhaling as you reach forward. Taking maybe four repetitions here before we add a reach over. So we're moving forward and back over the top and back again. Again, just three or four repetitions. This opens through the chest, adds a nice little bit of rotation through the spine. We're gonna take that foot across the other leg now and reaching around with the opposite arm. So our right foot has come across our left leg and our left arm is wrapping around that knee as we look over our right shoulder. Breathing into it, feeling that stretch through the glutes. Before we uncurl, uncross and give it a little shake out. Then we're gonna do it all again with the other side. So just tucking that left foot now into right thigh, right arm reaching down towards the foot, left arm opening and closing, moving with the breath. Exhale forwards, inhale as you come back. Last one now before we add on that reach over. Feeling that lovely rotation and spinal flexion. Counteracting all that uh, stiffness from your night's sleep. Last couple of these before we get hold of that foot, taking it across our right thigh, using the right hand to wrap around, supporting behind us with the left hand. And once more, just breathing into that stretch, feeling that lovely pull through the glutes. It's a great one to do as well if you have a desk job, find yourself sitting a lot of the time. Once more, uncrossing, giving everything a bit of a shake out, drawing the feet up to be flat on the floor, taking the hands back. We're just going to have a little bit of spinal extension here. So pushing the chest upwards as you inhale, popping that chin up to the sky, exhale, rounding through the back, just moving through three or four breaths before we take a little windscreen wiper of the knees. Just moving them gently from side to side. Before we settle down on one side. Now you can keep that hip up or pushing that hip down towards the floor, depending on how much tightness you've got through hips and knees here. Choose the option for you. Counting for three movements before we settle down on the other side. Once more, hip either up or down. As we come up now, we're going to move into a hands and knees position. 
bit of a tabletop, knees directly below the hips, hands below the shoulders, and just rounding through the back on the exhale, dropping that spine and that belly on the inhale. So a little cat-cow movement here. As always, moving with that breath in your own time. We've done the cat, we've done the cow. Now the dog's going to wag the tail. So we're just going to look over left shoulder towards left hip. And we're going to look over the right shoulder towards the white right hip. Allowing the hips just to swing side to side. Get a little bit of lateral flexion there. If you prefer not to go into a down dog position, you can stay on hands and knees, just alternating, taking a foot back, digging the toes into the floor, pushing the heel away from you, feeling that lovely stretch down the back of the calf again. Just moving through an alternation. If you're happy to go into a down dog, just tucking those toes, pushing the hips up towards the sky, lengthening through the arms, back and legs. Again, just Pedaling the feet, alternating that stretch. And then wherever you are, coming, bringing the hips up and starting to walk those feet towards the hands. Keep those knees a little bit bent. And we're just going to hang here for a moment. The weight of the head just giving us that lovely extension through the spine. You can straighten those legs if you prefer. Just moving through a little bit of a rag doll before we bring those hands to the shins. We're gonna walk them up to the knees, come into a flat back, draw shoulder blades towards each other just for a moment before we progress however you like into an upright position. From here, we're going to take a few shoulder rolls. So rolling those shoulders up and back, opening through the chest, letting them swing down. If you want, pop in a bend in the knees, coming into a bit of a monkey swing. Just hold in for a moment as you come back before that swing. Last one or two. Then we take a nice big inhale up, out, and one more and shake it all off. Shake your legs, shake your arms and crack on with your day. Thanks for joining.